Hello guys, how are you? Uh, so today I'm going to be walking you through how to run uh, Sublime Text from the Seagreen command line. So basically, uh, to start off, let's just open the Seagreen command line. There you go. And uh, the first step would be to download Sublime from the website if you haven't already done so. To do that, just go to Google, type in Sublime Text, and you get the main website. Click on it, head over to download, and you download the respective version for your computer. Alright, so once you've done that, uh, we'll now go and find the executable file. In my case, uh, it would be in computer. C drive program files and in a folder called sublime text2 and there it is and when I double click it sublime opens all right so basically we want to use to open a, a file and we want to do this through a sequence and to do this I prepared a file beforehand that will be used for this tutorial and here it is I call the test file and I just saved it where I downloaded Sigling just to make things uh, more straightforward so there it is and now if we open it up so we'll right click click open and we're gonna use sublime to open to open it click OK you'll see it says this is a test file we will attempt whatever I just wrote something there for the sake of having something there it is we're going to attempt to open this test file through Sigwin now first uh, I'm going to try to get to this location and to do that I'm just going to hit cd slash and uh, now you'll see I'm in the same folder that you can see here visually there's the bin, dev, etc, whatever, whatever and there's the test file right there now if I wanted to open the test file, it's not as simple as typing in test file. And you type it in, lo and behold, what you get back is uh, test file command not found. So how would you go about opening this? Well, you can do what we just did before, right? You just right click, click open, and uh, select that, and then click OK, right? So it's like, oh, no big deal, just a few minutes of my time. Well, uh, let's say you are working on a project, right, and you want to be opening a lot of files and a lot of things in different locations. For example, I have something saved uh, over here, and I wanted to open this. I have to do the same thing every single time. So you click open, can't find it, select the program, OK, and then you choose it, and so on, and so forth. Click open. Right, there it is, but... It did open, but it took so long. It's not the most efficient way to go about this. There is a better way. And basically, how you can do that is we're just going to try to call it from the command line in Sigwin. Okay, so to run it from Sigwin, the most convenient way would be um, for us to be able to type sublime. And when we press enter, sublime opens. So at present, uh, type sublime does nothing and in fact you get the line that says command not found so what we want to do is set up a small script that uh, when when we type in sublime we'll just open sublime and uh, what I'm going to be doing is, is going to be based largely on uh, this post by Simon Herrera and I'll put the link to this uh, post on uh, the comment section below and it basically, uh, yeah, just walks through what we're going to be doing in this video. So, to start it off, let's just open a new notepad file. Okay, and um, we're going to be writing a bash script. So, the first line we'll, we're going to write will basically tell the computer that uh, what's following is a bash script. So, to do that, we just write put that sign and that sign and then we write bean slash bash alright so once we have that uh, the next line 
will basically be saying that uh, we want you to open Sublime, and uh, to do that, let's we just need to find where we uh, downloaded Sublime, and here it is. So just write that down. Basically, it's in uh, C. You can see uh, program files. Sublime text two, and it's called Sublime text dot executable. So uh, right now, the way we've written the file location is in the Windows style. Since we are using Sigrin, we need to change it up a bit and uh, make it to a Sigrin style directory. So we type in C drive at the beginning. And also for every space, uh, we want to put a backslash, backslash for it. So put one there, there, and there. Okay. Since we want to be able to call it to the word Sublime, we're going to save it as Sublime. So we'll just click, come here. Let me first minimize this to make the screen, uh, screen clearer. File. Save. And we're going to save it as Sublime. Now, where you save the file is very important because you basically want to save it where Sigwin can access it. Now, a good location to do that is so this is the main Sigwin file from before. You would want to head over to uh, user and then head over to local and then bin and save it here. And we're going to save it as Sublime. Click OK, save it. Alright, so now let's just find that file. Uh, let's go back here to Sigwin. We put it under user local bin daily sublime.txt, save file. Alright, so right now it's saved as a text file. Let's just change that. We want it to be just a file with no extension. So Hit rename on Windows 7. Uh, basically, to change that, just erase that. And you'll ask it that. Do you want to change it? Click yes. And now you'll notice the type has changed to a file. Alright, so to open it, uh, you basically just double click it or right click it. This will pop up because uh, it's not a file type and not automatic and does not automatically open with Notepad. So you can, even, you can open it with Notepad. There it is. Or you can even open it with uh, Sublime as such. So if you click there, click OK. Uh, there it is. Okay, so this is all great. But now let's see if it actually does something. So we'll come back to the Sigwin uh, command line and let's type in Sublime this time and see what happens. Lo and behold, Sublime is opened, which is pretty freaking sick. <laughs> So that's pretty much it. You just need to, uh, in the uh, text file, let's just open this again. Uh, yeah, you just pretty much need to put the location in Open Sublime. So that's great. Now let's go back and uh, see if we can open the test file that we created before. Okay, um, so let's first find that test file, and we're just gonna go back there. So Sigwin, and there is test file, and we want to open that up. And so we would. Oh, first let's just close the blind. That, and yeah. So again, just to show, we are in this directory. And uh, let's see, so when, if we type in sublime uh, test file, what happens? Sublime opens, but it doesn't open the test file, so that's no good. Uh, basically, to get it to open the test file, we need to, uh, or any file for that matter, we need to make a few uh, modifications to our code. So let's go back there, um, over here and let's modify it uh, we can do this 
either through notepad or sublime well, we may as well use sublime so let's go there and uh, basically we're gonna add a dollar one to the end of that and save it so file save done all right now I'll try the same thing again sublime test file run it and lo and behold the test file opened so basically the dollar one allows us to <laughs> open files and yeah that's pretty much it and one thing you may have noticed is that when uh, sublime is opened do see when command line it seems like it's kind of locked right so you can't really do much until you close sublime again and there you go now you can use the sigling command line that may be a bit cumbersome and basically to just overcome that we're gonna right click again click open and uh, we're gonna modify that a little bit and we're gonna add that sign over there the ampersand click file save now try to open the test file again you'll notice something a little bit different did open there it is through sublime but also uh, you can continue coding and yeah basically that is pretty much how to set it up uh, some cool things you can do is if you don't want to type in sublime all the time just come here right click we'll call it slime instead like a short name like that now if you come and type in sublime test file it doesn't recognize it but type in slime test file and lo and behold it will open and with this you can pretty much call it whatever you want and that's pretty much it so yeah thanks uh, for listening hopefully this helps you if it doesn't uh, feel free to post some questions in the comments below and also make sure to check out uh, the original file by Simon over here and uh, I've also included a link to uh, a video by Metal X1000. And basically, what he does, he walks you through basic Linux stuff. And uh, here you can learn all you, all you need to know about uh, the basics of scripting in Linux, which is what Sigmin is based on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for your time, and good luck.